so I am connected to a home network let's quickly check our IP address go to command prompt and type IP config here we can see that our IP address is 192.168.1.35 this IP address may not be same every time it may change each time you start your computer this is because in the IPv4 properties which we are going to see now we have we can see that we are obtaining the IP address automatically from the router so it is not constant the router may assign a different IP address each time you connect your computer to the network so IP address is not a good thing to rely on we can rely on the computer name because computer name is always the same now you can directly access the other computer by two backslashes and either the computer name or its IP address now I'm going to type its IP address the IP address of my own computer Toshiba and see here we can see the similarity between the two this to the IP address and that to the computer to the computer name so we can see that both are same the computer Toshiba is same as the IP address 192.168.1.35 So right now I am connected to my home network. Remember that for network and sharing you should be connected to a private network in Windows 10. Otherwise you must consider changing your network settings or either change your connected network to a private network. Now I can see that in network tab I can see both my computers that are connected to the same network and when I try to go into the MacBook Air which is my other computer connected to the same network it is asking for some username and password this username and password is same as the login username and password to of some user on the MacBook Air so if I type the admin username and password then I will get access to the administrator data on the MacBook Air or else I will if there is another user on the MacBook Air then we can get access to his data by typing his username and password we can see that in the Toshiba computer we have our downloads folder that we shared just now and we have the standard public folder if your public folder sharing is turned on in the network and sharing center so these things are being shared with the other computer so now in the network tab we have both computers MacBook Air and Toshiba now let's go into the MacBook Air I have only one account on my MacBook Air right now which is the admin account so I am typing the username and password of the admin account so now I can see the public folder which is default and it's empty and I can see the home folder Yeah, it has everything my downloads documents songs pictures everything is there here so I am practically accessing my entire computers hard disk through this Windows PC so if I don't want this to happen I just want some folders that are shared to be accessible then we have to create a separate account for sharing purpose so in order to create a new account for sharing purpose let's go to system preferences users and groups now let's authenticate and then add a user account So our new user account will be of type sharing only 
um, I will give it a name Madhav Share and I will give it some password so the now the user account is created whenever I want to access my MacBook I can directly log in into the Madhu share account instead of the admin account also now I can tell my friends my username and password for this sharing only account so that they cannot know my admin username and password and at the same time they can access my files that that are that are available to them now it is always better to create a separate account for sharing purposes on PC also just like we did in Mac now go to accounts family and other people and add someone else to this piece. now the new account since you are using only for sharing purposes might not have a Microsoft account it is always better to create a local account because I had a tough time figuring out what the username for Microsoft account was maybe it is email ID but I never tried let's go to I don't have this person's sign in information and now to add a user without Microsoft account so now you can create a local account now I will give this account a username of uh, Madhu share and I will type some password so every time I want to access this computer I will log into this account for accessing from other computer friends can log in into this account because I will tell them the username and password of this account to them so that so whenever they want something they can just login into this account on my PC